The contour has a mirrored output. To paraphrase Alan Strange, mirroring is a special processing by which voltages are in effect turned upside down. A voltage level of 8 becomes 0, 7 becomes 1, 6 becomes 2, and so on. Through the process of mirroring, ascending voltages become descending voltages and vice versa. Unlike inversion as on function or maths, the output voltage stays positive, with the same output range as the main contour output. Use the mirror output for the creation of temporarily related inverse motion. For example, patching it to the centroid input on telharmonic, higher harmonics will be emphasized as the sound decays. Using both outputs at once will be easiest to discern when at least one phase of the contour is slow and with sustain level set somewhere in the middle. Another example is using the main and mirrored contour outputs patched to level inputs on the two channels of the Dynamix for use as a crossfader. Patching the EOC gate to the same contour's gate input is an easy way to make the contour self-cycle. If we molt the same signal to both Dynamix inputs, and output the channel outputs to left and right channels. We can use these contour outputs for panning. Of course, you will best hear this with a stereo speaker setup or headphones. Note that crossfading and panning are not limited to audio use. We can crossfade between two different types of CV, for example, a cycling function and a sequence. Or we could use the panning patch to route the same CV signal between two different destinations. Here this math cycle is panned between STO shape and telharmonic centroid. And the resulting sounds are mixed in the rosy. Contour also has two gate outputs, as on the function one of these outputs is high at any given time. When the contour is inactive or during the onset portion the end of contour gate is high, otherwise the end of onset gate goes high. These outputs can be used to initiate events elsewhere in the system.